Want to write mentally ill characters? The crazy woman in the attic isn't going to cut it anymore. Hey guys, I'm Marlene and welcome back to my channel. So I've had a few questions on my writing advice blog on writing mentally ill characters, so I thought I'd compile a few tips in a video. Trigger warning, this video will talk candidly about mental health issues and self-harm will briefly be mentioned. Also, I mostly had mood and anxiety disorders in mind when I compiled these tips and not necessarily psychotic or dissociative disorders, but some of the tips may still apply. The first tip is to do your research. Now, this may sound like a very obvious point, but it's very important. You have to identify what specific mental illness or disorder you want that character to have. And then you have to do research on that illness. So a good place to start is the medical definition and explanation of it, which you can easily find online. You can literally just Google it. But I would suggest then looking at personal accounts. So you can find these all over the internet these days because the stigma on mental illness is dissipating. So you can find poems, short stories, blog posts, videos, a lot of Tumblr posts on people's experiences with a specific mental illness. If you have that mental illness, you can obviously draw heavily on your own experience, but I would still recommend looking at personal accounts from other people because people experience the same illness differently. However, do not put research above your own mental health. If there's anything that is triggering to you, rather just leave it be. Then number two is keeping it respectful. Now, as someone who suffers from mental illness myself, I can't tell you how many times I've seen clinical anxiety used as humor in fiction. And it starts to get hurtful at some point. Like, my anxiety is not comic relief. And you see this so many times. So don't use mental illness as a gimmick to villainize a character, to infantilize a character, or to patronize them. Don't treat mentally ill characters like children. Don't treat your mentally ill characters like villains simply because they suffer from some type of illness. If you want to use mental illness as a gimmick, try to find a different plot point. People with mental illness are human beings. They are not a fun thing for you to use to explain why a character is a bad guy or to make a character cute, cinnamon roll or whatever. That, that's not a thing. So we are not comedic relief or horror stories. We are human beings and that is important to remember. Also don't demonize mentally ill characters and don't don't use stereotypes so if you research your personal accounts a lot of these stereotypes or assumptions will become apparent because people often speak about how it affects them that people assume that they are a certain way so just try to be respectful and not play into stereotypes or use mental illness as an excuse to treat a character poorly. If you're not sure, ask. Then infusing the illness into the plot. Now, if you're writing a book that centers around mental illness, this tip you don't have to worry about that much. But if you're writing any other type of book, you're gonna have to find a way to infuse the character's mental illness into the main plot. So this means that while your story is happening, there should be some indication that this character suffers from that illness. If there is a triggering event, your character may have an anxiety or panic attack. They may become dissociative or irritable in certain circumstances. They may have a manic episode sometime during the story. Perhaps their self-harm scars become visible at some point. Now you don't have to remind the reader that your character is mentally ill at every single turn. A lot of mentally ill people function very well and you won't even know that they have a mental illness until it is triggered. So the research that you did 
for the first step will help you here to know how people react in certain situations and when that mental illness really flares up or is triggered. Then keep your context in mind. People with mental illness have been treated very, very differently in different periods of time. There was a time when people thought mental illness was demonic possession versus now where we have a very medical outlook on mental illness. Diagnoses have changed, treatments have changed, attitudes have changed. So you have to keep in mind where your character is and when the story takes place. And even if you've created your own world, you have to think how this world would treat mentally ill characters and how that outside treatment would affect the character themselves. You could make this a theme or it could just be mentioned and littered through your novel. If at the end of the drafting process you're still not sure whether you wrote the character correctly or respectfully, it could be a good idea to hire a sensitivity reader. So a sensitivity reader will read through your book and try to see if there is anything that might be offensive to readers. This is someone that you will have to look for, hire and pay. Sensitivity read is not a free service. So yeah, those are some of my tips on writing mentally ill characters. If you have any further questions, please put them in the comments below. I am not the ultimate authority on mental illness, but as someone who does suffer from it, I can give a few tips. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like this type of content. If you want writing advice videos every single Friday and tons of bonus content, then you have to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell. As always, you can find me on my website, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. All the links are listed below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.